Chauvin was just um, uh, sentenced to 22 years in prison. I don't know, uh, for those of you who know the law better than me, you can tell me like what that means, like when he'd be up for probation or whatever. Um, we were hoping for 30. We were hoping they'd throw the book at him. But 22 is at least, it's something. For, for a murder two conviction, second degree murder, um, that's pretty good considering that uh, he should have been convicted on first degree murder in my opinion but I'm not a lawyer I'm not a lawyer right um, but it did seem uh, premeditated I think to most of us it seemed fairly premeditated um, so he got 22 years so uh, hopefully uh, I think that's satisfactory. I think that that will probably prevent uh, any sort of riots. There's, I think, will be some sort of demonstrations, but I think that will prevent riots from happening because it does seem, I don't know, maybe I, I probably need to uh, tap into the black community right now and see how they're reacting to this um, to see if they feel like justice was served because ultimately it comes down to how they feel about the verdict, not how I feel about the verdict. I just want to see the guy get locked up for the max amount. And he got a pretty lengthy sentence. He will never be able to, um, possess any weapons or explosives for the rest of his life. And, um, Oh my God, if you guys were watching this shit, <laughs> if you guys were watching, his mom got up there and um, appealed, you know, for leniency. And she acts, I don't know how many kids she has, but she, she literally said, you are my favorite son. Like, what kind of mom does that? <laughs> what kind of fucking mom does that? I have no idea what sort of household he grew up in, but that's so insane. I can't even, I mean, I only have one son, but if I had multiple children, there is no way I would like s declare one of them my favorite, especially the one that's be about to get locked up for murder. Oh my God, even with that, <laughs> that was so insane, you guys. Anyway, he got 22 years. He's going directly into custody. He gets credit for 190 days served. And I, I don't know when he's eligible for parole or whatnot, but he, he can never own a gun or any sort of weapons or explosives for the rest of his life. And the judge was really trying to stay away from any sort of grandstanding on like um, how he felt about this case. So he basically lifted up a packet of paper that was maybe like a half inch thick, maybe a little less, that said this was my legal reasoning behind the decision. And so I'm sure that that's been released to the press and that they're going to dissect it. But uh, the rest of us haven't seen it yet, so we don't know what his legal reasoning was behind the decision. But basically, he took the minimum sentence and added another 10 years to it. And that's, that's where we landed. That's where we are today. So now I got to check in on all the Black Lives Matters group and um, and see how they're reacting to the verdict or to the sentencing, I should say.